Well, how do we follow that? I know exactly how. Celebrate St. Patrick's Day with a night filled with laughs. The Comedy Connection is welcoming a comedian scene on Showtime and Comedy Central. And wait till you see, I told you, batten down the hatches. Mike McCarthy is joining us today. Whoa! What's up, baby? <laughs> how you doing? I'm doing fantastic, nice, brother. Nice to see you. Um, first of all, I just tell me about this ensemble because I almost went sleeveless today myself. It's 2024, man. Everybody's <laughs> dressing like they want to. You can't beat them join them, you know what I mean? Well, I love this. You are known in the industry as the comedy barbarian. Tell me more. Uh, you know Tom Cotter? Yeah. He was on uh, America's Got Talent. Gave me that nickname about uh, 25 years ago while we were drinking, and it stuck like glue. I fought it for a little while, but now, like I said, 2024, you got to have a hook. So the, I'm the comedy barbarian, baby. The best nicknames are always born of a night of drinking. No <laughs> doubt about that, my friend. <laughs> Which I love, just in time for St. Patrick's Day. But tell us a little bit about your comedy career. You've been at it for more than three decades now. 37 years. I started at the original Comedy Connection in uh, Boston on Warrenson Street. Uh, fun fact, I followed Stephen Wright at Open Mic night one wow. night. Wasn't going to go good anyways, right. but at least I had an excuse. But yeah, I started there and uh, been all over the country. Um, it's been fantastic, man. It's my favorite thing to do. I, I I don't know, man. I was 19 years old. I was too young to be scared. <laughs> and now all these years later, I still love it just as much. Well, there really is nothing like stepping onto that live stage. And for you as such an energetic performer, Mike, I would presume that you really feed off that energy. No question, man. No, I'm wild, man. I lose my mind every time I walk out there. I can't believe I get to do it. No, it's great stuff. Talk a little bit about, you know, you've been at it for 37 years, as you, you alluded to, you know, following Stephen Wright your first time is such an amazing thing to have on your resume. Were there any comics that really kind of steered you to this when you were coming up? inspired you to want to do it? No question. Well, it was, uh, Rich I saw Richard Pryor when I was probably about, I would say, 16 years old. I went and saw a horror movie, and then downstairs we caught the last 15 minutes of Here and Now, wow. which was his concert film. Yep. And I, was, I couldn't believe people actually did that. And it was so funny and so great. I was absolutely hooked. And Kinnison was my biggest influence. Did you ever uh, meet either of the guys? Those I guys? did not. I never met Richard Pryor. I had an opportunity to open for Sam Kinnison at the living room here. And those are the days where you didn't have a cell phone, and I missed the phone call. That would have been uh, such an incredible oh, one-two punch. Me, really did. I don't think people would have left that room alive. <laughs> I think because that, that your energy plus what he was all about would have been tremendous. Now your show certainly, as we've said here, high energy. Talk about what people can expect if they've never seen you live, Mike. What are you doing up there besides threatening and frightening people? Oh, uh, we're presume. gonna go nuts, dude! It's gonna be St. Patrick's Day, man. Bring a uh, spare liver and some bail money. We're gonna go nuts. <laughs> we're gonna be at the. Car. I'll bring the helmet. You know what I mean? Oh, uh, it's gonna be an absolute blast, man. But yeah, I'm a uh, loud, screamy, yelling. Dirty, all the stuff you're looking for in Patty's Day. Right, and the comedy connection we were chatting, you know, our buddy Corey's right over here, so we have to be nice. <laughs> it's the best club, I'm not even lying. Corey, put the gun down. Uh, it is, well, it's my home club, and it's been there forever, and they do it the right way. I mean, they support new artists, they have all the big names coming in. It is my favorite club, without a question. It, it really is, and uh, acoustically it's fun, energy wise it's fun, and I would think for you, having done, having done it for so long, we talk about people who have never seen you, but it must be very rewarding to you to have your fans coming back to see you again and again. Yeah, this is a local gig for me. I'm gonna have a lot of my family out there, a lot of friends and stuff, it's gonna be off the hook, dude. And it's St. Patrick's Day, I get special powers. I am 100% Irish. I'm so Irish, I can't eat English muffins. <laughs> they taste like oppression. They do. I'd rather choke on French toast. <laughs> His blood type is Guinness. <laughs> That's exactly right. I gave my daughter, I gave my uh, doctor a urine sample right before, right after St. Patrick's Day last year. He said uh, it's got a head on it. <laughs> And just like that, a lot of time. <laughs> That's great. But for you, Mike, working on new material, you know, hammering at Will's guffawing over there. He loves it. Get Will some oxygen. Working out new material. I'm always fascinated by the process for comedians. For you, is it ongoing? You're always coming up with new stuff? I would imagine you are. I actually have a very serious job during the day. I'm a uh, threat management consultant at an alternative medical facility, which is a nice way of saying I'm a security guard at a marijuana dispensary. I work at Baskin Fairhaven, and I sit there all day working on my material, and I try out my material on these stoners that come in. I, well, perfect ahead of the high holiday of St. Patrick's <laughs> Day. Mike, a great pleasure to have you here. Uh, I told you before we went on, I just love comedy. I love comedians, so it's a great pleasure to meet you. Oh, uh, truly my pleasure, man. Thanks so very much for having me. And, well, we've got a roadshow kilt waiting for you in the gift shop. Awesome, man. <laughs> Thanks again. All right. Comedy Connection is the place to be this Sunday night if you would like to see Mike McCarthy live. And we're told by Corey right over there, our friends at the Comedy Connection have a huge Huge announcement coming up on Monday, so you will want to be on the lookout for that. But for now, all the information is posted. Irish step dance your way over to roadshow.com. <laughs>